Imagine innocently researching your family's past. While you're researching, you begin to think, did my family do something important? Are we related to royalty, like Queen Elizabeth? Imagine finding out that your family member was a Nazi. Your family member played a role in killing tens of thousands of Jews in the Holocaust. Imagine being two years old or younger and having a family member executed for their crimes against humanity. This is exactly what it was like for the children of Schutzstaffel officials. The Schutzstaffel was a Nazi organization founded for the sheer purpose of acting as Adolf Hitler's personal bodyguards. Hi, my name is Jana, and I'm going to be telling you three different stories of people who have had to live with this atrocity every single day. Now, some of you may be wondering, what do these people have to do with the Holocaust? Well, the Schutzstaffel didn't just act as Adolf Hitler's personal bodyguards. They also ran some of the concentration camps, one of which was Auschwitz. These people were at the center of the Holocaust crimes. This is Reiner Huss. His grandfather was Rudolf Huss, the leader of Auschwitz. Rudolf Huss played with toys made by prisoners as a child. He had to wash strawberries because they smelled of concentration camp ash. He grew up and continued to live in a villa just outside of Auschwitz as he grew to power. Reiner visited his family villa and Auschwitz. When he arrived at Auschwitz's gate, he described them as the gates to the underworld. It's hard to explain the guilt. Even though there is no reason I should bear any guilt, I still bear it. Reiner Huss This is Katrin Imler. Her great uncle, her grandfather, and her grandfather's older brother were in the Nazi party, one of which was Heinrich Imler. Heinrich Himmler was appointed Hitler's deputy propaganda chief in 1926. He became the commander of the Schutzstaffel in 1929 and took command of the Gestapo in 1933 and began expanding. He committed suicide to avoid capture on May 23, 1945. The best political weapon is terror. Cruelty demands respect. Heinrich Himmler. Katrin wrote, the Immler Brothers, a German family history, in a quest to bring something positive to the Immler name. Can you really love them if you want to be honest and really know what they did or thought? Katrin Immler. This is Bettina Goering. She was the great niece of Hitler's designated successor, Hermann Goering. Hermann Göring came up with the idea of concentration camps. He used them for what he called corrective treatment. He also created the Gestapo, or the Green Police. Education is dangerous. Every educated person is a future enemy. Hermann Göring. Bettina and her brother both sterilized themselves to cut off the Göring bloodline. She left Germany over 30 years ago and now lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's easier for me to deal with the past of my family from a great distance. Bettina Goering. I chose this topic because I wanted to know what it was like to be a non-Jewish German child. Now I know. In conclusion, the children of the Schutzstaffel have lived through adversity. They have lived through the sideways glances from their peers, but they have chosen different ways to deal with it. Some, like Bettina Goering, have decided it's best to move far away from it all. Others, like Ryan or Huss have decided to face it head on. So what would you do if you found out your family member was a Nazi?